O Shiganosuke, where art thou? It's a question that's intrigued me ever since we began examining the history of Yokozuna this January. Back then, some of you seemed surprised that we don't know who the first one was. We know simply of a name, Akashi Shiganosuke, upon which was likely bestowed a title of Hinoshita Kaizan, strongest man under the sun. But as for when and where this happened, how old he was at the time, where he was born, and indeed who this man actually was, we have only Nick Kershaw-style riddles. But seeing as I live closer to their origin than most, I felt it time to ponder the puzzles on location. We begin with the book written by Hiroshi Nakamura, the longest love letter to Akashi Shiganosuke available. I say love letter because to Nakamura, an accomplished architect with no need for recognition as a writer, this is a total labor of love. His driving force? Sheer conviction that Shiganosuke was born in the same city as he, Utsunomiya, in Tochigi Prefecture. Before we go there, let's have a little ride on the Tochigi bullet train for some inspiration. Look at how vast that sunlit sky is, how gracefully the clouds glide across it, inviting us to a game of charades with the shapes they form. Then, remind yourself of that title. Strongest man under the sun, under all that sky. What an amazing honor that must have been. For a quiet reading place, we go to the Green Wall Cafe at Nasu Shiobara, the kind of deserted room you might expect to find in the Inugami horror movie once shot in the vicinity. While tucking into homemade buckwheat spaghetti and a cheesecake born of the milk for which Nasu is so famous, we flick through the first pages of Nakamura's book, whereupon the core problem with the Shiganosuke story becomes readily apparent. Several sources list his birth date as 1606. Others place him at Yotsuya's Chōzenji in 1624 for the advent of Temple Sumo. And others maintain he retired at Edogawa's Zen Shōji in 1699. Draw everything together and you have a time scale which is impossibly long. No sumo wrestler has ever been known to fight until 93 years of age. Is the source material hopelessly wrong? Is it collectively describing more than one Shiganosuke? Or did this wrestler never exist at all? For further quiet reflection, we head into the rice fields of rural Nasu, the globules of sweat keeping us fully aware of the sun's awesome power. What can shed light on this mystery man? What is it that makes the Sumo Association so sure he existed? And very often, the problem is not so much with what is written, but with what is not written in the historical annals. Shiganosuke's height is given as 227 centimeters, but no Japanese man has ever been registered as being so tall. He is claimed to have fought and won an epic battle against fellow giant Nio Nidayu before the Emperor Gomizuno to claim the Hinoshita Kaizan title. This would have been in the mid-1620s. Only no imperial diary backs this up. And even the house of Yoshida Tsukasa, responsible for developing the Kaizan Yokozuna system, has no record of him gracing the temple sumo upon which half his legend seems to have been built. It all seems so elusive. Mother Nature, fan me with your leaves while I work out where this pathway leads. The 1720 local train has us back in Utsunomiya by six, leaving us just enough time to reach Gamo Shrine before sunset. Another uncanny Nick Kershaw reference. The shrine is named after Kunpei Gamo, a leading Confucian scholar straddling the 18th and 19th centuries, and as such welcomes children and their parents to pray for success in academic exams. It is also a sign of just how determined is Utsunomiya to claim Shiganosuke as its own, for several items dedicated to him stand within. That place is so small I doubt they even have staff, scoffs a 40-something local bartender who can scarce see beyond the city's current association with gyoza. 
But I did used to like my sumo though, especially Chiona Fuji. In my mind, he was a superstar. How amazed our nearby bartender would have been to learn that some 35 years ago, Chiona Fuji actually entered the precincts of Gamo Shrine to perform a ring entering ceremony there. It was the biggest act of homage to Shiganosuke the Sumo Association could make. While the shrine was heaving that day, there is scarce a soul in sight as we arrive to the muted fanfare of swaying branches and buzzing cicadas. First, we come face to face with the main Tori gate donated by another famous son of Tochigi, the 27th Yokozuna Tochigi Yama Moriya in 1926. Then, we have our reward for mounting these cracked, uneven steps. The blissful peace of a secluded Utsunomiya hilltop blessed with fresh Tochigi air. The Shiganosuke stone column commissioned by sumo historian and ex-Yokozuna Jimmaku in 1900, originally erected in a local park before coming here half a century later. And the pièce de résistance, the stone statue of Shiganosuke himself, wrapped in a Yokozuna's white belt and ceremonial apron, preparing to lift his left leg for another majestic foot stamp. From top to toe, it measures exactly the same as Shiganosuke's build height of 227 centimeters. How I wish for the one human-shaped object on this lonely hill to talk to me. Tell me if he really was the son of a vassal of the Utsunomiya clan, or whether his origins lie far away in Chiba. Whether he really did join Sumauda stable and first take the name Sumanosuke. Whether he did actually fight before Emperor Gomizno, or even Shogun Iemitsu at Ueno's Kan Eiji. Whether this stone at Shinjuku's Chozenji does convey truth and that he did both tower over and delight the assembled masses here in 1624, or even thereabouts. I've been to Chozenji myself to try and picture how the scene might have looked, although without too much success given the vast alterations to the landscape. I tried to imagine wooden structures on all sides crammed with hakama-clad samurai and townsfolk, all but the boldest sporting a top knot. A higher tower in the middle for lords and nobility. Ladders shooting up from the crowd to help people climb into the upper tiers. Makeshift awnings on the roofs flapping in the wind. And at the centre of this sumo hive, a referee underneath a rickety Shinto canopy, shouting at the top of his voice, On the east side, Akashi Shiganosuke. You notice I call him by his first name, Shiganosuke. The more you seek him out, the more attached you become. You feel the urge to make the same Pascal-style wager made not only by Utsunomiya, but also the Tochigi prefectural government, whose offices have bordered Gamo Shrine for the entirety of its existence. Such is the richness of the imagery associated with Shiganosuke, embellished by esteemed poets Matsuo and Takarai and by Mr. Kato's gripping description of the tussle with Nio Nidayu some 275 years after the event, that Tochigi has much more to gain from believing in him than not. It may well be that the answer to the Shiganosuke riddle yet lies in Tochigi, that some of his descendants may yet be tracked down, as Nakamura has indeed tried to do. There may yet be unreleased imperial documents which confirm the events in which he supposedly shone. Maybe the Sumo Museum can better explain the evidence it purports to have. I shall be sure to pursue all three routes for more information, and to report only the significant developments, for if I report everything I do, I'll only have half as much time to really live. For now, as night falls on another day of mystery, I use my time alone with the statue to plea for assistance, in the hope that any guiding spirit enshrined nearby shall provide it. Where art thou, Shiganosuke, Yokozuna number one? Where art thou, Shiganosuke, strongest man under the sun? <laughs>